Dr. Rosalia Gorbe is not a fan of Hungary's Prime Minister Viktor Orban, but she understands why voters have turned in large numbers to his right-wing, anti-immigrant Fidesz party. Partly people voted Fidesz because people like the mayor, because he improved the area. They could see a lot of modernization and developments. Then the various benefits, like the decrease of utility bills and the so-called Erzsébet checks, also motivated a lot of people, and the third reason was the immigration issue. Orban, in power since 2010, won a third successive landslide victory last month, securing a parliamentary majority that allows Fidesz to pass laws without other parties' support. Orban says the large influx of mostly Muslim migrants, many fleeing conflicts in the Middle East, pose a threat to Europe's Christian civilization. He has refused to accept migrant quotas proposed by Brussels. For Peter Tolgesie, this cabot strategy is paying. Orban, Viktor, valami másztat. Viktor Orban gives something else to people. First of all, he gives voters an enemy. There has always been and will be an enemy. If the migrant crisis peters out, he will find some more other enemy. I do not know who it will be, and I am sure the Prime Minister himself does not know yet, but he will find one which he can present and will fight against and which he alone can fend off to save the country. He is extremely efficient in tapping people's fears and aspirations. But it is also the government's success at rebooting the economy that has helped Fidesz to boost its support. Voters were not particularly concerned by critics that Orbán's government has undermined judicial and media freedoms and that it is encouraging a form of crony capitalism in Hungary. A Reuters inquiry found earlier this year that some of Orbán's closest circle and family had used state and EU funds to enrich themselves. But the Prime Minister have denied the charges, accusing the influence of foreign capital. Local resident Christian Fulop says criticism of Orbán's record was simply beside the point for many Hungarians. You can list Fidesz crimes, and you may be right, but that is way above most people's heads. Say, 10 billion foreign stolen. Most people do not even understand that's with their salaries. And to just merely say that Orban and Fidesz are bad is not enough. Everyone knows that, but they see no alternative. And with far-right party Jobbik shrinking in power, Orban seems more than ever here to stay.